Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get into this and let's see what we've got for your pre-shuffle here. So I have the Emperor with the Ten of Cups. Yes. And at the bottom of the deck, overall energy for your pre-shuffle. So far we have the Eight of Pentacles. So what I'm getting from this is someone is in a, uh, in a position of um, taking full control of their lives or at least whatever it is they need to do in order to reach their ten of cups um so over this time period here uh, maybe this is within scorpio season although if you're watching this well after scorpio season then it obviously doesn't have to be that um but i just feel i'm feeling an energy of taking strides or doing the the hard mundane craftsmanship type work that is necessary with your Ten of Cups in mind, all right? Whatever that may represent for you. And the, the Ten of Cups is love, family, romantic relationship, emotion, whatever your ultimate emotional fulfillment would be, all right? I feel like someone is very consciously working on striving towards achieving whatever their Ten of Cups is, okay? And that's a really beautiful energy. That's pretty pretty straightforward there all right so let's see what else we've got for you in the month of november or at least for this time period for whenever this resonates for you libra and we'll get started here we go <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for you. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. I did just see 222 on the counter, so some of you may really be um, in a place of manifesting a soulmate or manifesting an ideal partnership or relationship in some way. This is shuffle number three. Four. And five. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. All right. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Libra. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I, I really want to close my window. Ugh just to make sure we don't have any noise interference. For some reason, I feel like it's about to get really noisy out there. So, okay. All right, Libra. Overall energy. Okay. Ooh, there you go. You've got the three of pentacles. All right. So, what? like I said, um, working on yourself. Self-mastery. The three of pentacles is an energy of self-mastery. It's also an energy of building a foundation, Okay. Beautiful. Underneath the three of pentacles. Wow. You've got the wheel of fortune. And I feel, I'm really feeling spe specifically, I'm feeling an energy of you're picking up on the fact that something is coming, something is about to happen, or at least you, you're, you're moving in a direction, a certain direction that you wish to go in, or you're preparing for something. You're preparing for something, Libra. And you may not necessarily know what it is, although you have the inspiration or the knowledge to start working on that. Um, but I'm also getting that this is expressly working hand in hand with the universe. This is like teamwork with the universe in order to prepare for something that's coming on down the line. 
some sort of destiny in, in some way. Underneath the Wheel of Fortune, oof. You have the Nine of Swords though. Where is this coming from? Under the Nine of Swords, you've got the Eight of Cups. Oh, okay, that makes sense. In order for you to prepare for this, you have to leave some things behind. Um, and that's a little bit of a struggle for you right now, or at least it might be a little bit of a struggle. Or if it's not really a struggle, it's a topic of contention. It's a sore spot. It's not something that you're necessarily wanting to have to do, and yet you know you have to do it anyway. Uh, now, this Nine of Swords can also represent the unknown, like being afraid or, or worrying about the unknown elements that are that you may be preparing for. Now, also, this could be you with this Eight of Cups energy. This could be you walking away from something in order in, in order to find your that two of cups to complete your ten only to come back to these eight neatly stacked cups to to bring these two to complete your ten. Or you might be in an energy of completely walking away from everything that you built in order to start over to reformat your foundation or maybe to build a whole new foundation given what it is that you've learned or experienced in the past in terms of these eight cups that have accumulated here. Interesting. All right, Libra, let's get into the rest of the message here for you. First, set, uh, first half, second half of your reading, you could also look at this as first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates, yeah? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Libra, you have... The nine of wands now. All right, yeah, perseverance is key. I do feel like you have been through a lot uh, so far up until this point or just in life in general. I'm also getting, giving an energy of almost wanting to give up. And that's combined with this nine of swords energy here. It's like for some of you, this is almost too much to bear. The unknown may be too much to handle. The fact that you have to, for some of you, that you may have to completely start all over is just like unbearable to you, even unfathom unfathomable to you right now. Uh, but you're going to have to see this through in order to reach your Ten of Cups, that's for sure. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Two of Swords. Libra, this is no time to be indecisive, all right? What I do want to say is maybe you should take a break. And allow yourself to rest a little bit because for some of you, I feel like you've just been going hard, just going and going and going and going. And at, and at this point now, thinking of having to continue, but also having to continue in like a whole new, like literally having to start all over and just and put forth all that effort again, again, is unfathomable. So you're going to I really feel like right now, especially if you're in this extremely indecisive moment. Um, where you're, 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 you're pushing yourself to, to make some sort of decision or move in some sort of direction or take some sort of action and you're experiencing extreme resistance towards that, then you need to stop pushing so hard right now and you need to give yourself a break. Okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. You have the Empress. All right. There is abundance all around you, Libra. Do not forget that. Do not forget that, Libra. There is an abundance of time, resources, energy. You're not going to run out. The universe has your back, okay? The Empress is coupled with, oh shit, the Emperor. My, my, my. Well, it's one thing to have both of these two come out in the same reading. It's another thing for them to come out back to back, like right on top, of, right stacked on top of each other. For some of you, I feel like you are entering into or embodying this emperor energy while forgetting. Oh, okay, let me say it this way. You're embodying this emperor or masculine energy while kind of forgetting the fact that the empress or the feminine energy Mm, I'm going to say it the way I heard it, deserves to be a part of the process. So I feel like some of you are really overextending yourself right now. So focused on taking action that you're forgetting to allow yourself to be receptive. 
what I'm going to say here, what this feels like for you, Libra, is you need to allow yourself some time to be in the receptive mode. And then once you have recuperated sufficiently or built up enough momentum, then you can take your action. It's okay. It really is, Libra. I understand there is this, this sense of urgency, but it is okay to allow yourself a break, to take some time to just chill and relax and be in that receptive mode here, all right? But you do have the potential, if not the already fulfillment of this balance of masculine and feminine energy. This is really great, Libra. Okay, closing, oh, no, 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 your challenge. Sorry, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Libra. Sorry, my phone is <laughs> going off. Ace of Swords, the truth. Uh, I'm hearing truth, knowledge, integrity. That is your challenge here. Awareness, understanding, epiphany, seeing things as they truly are, being honest with yourself and others about what it is you wanna do. Also, your challenge here is making some sort of decision, coming to terms with something, recognizing something for what it truly is. Okay. Ace of Swords is coupled with, oh damn, the Five of Swords. Uh, I, I'm sorry guys, my phone, I must, Okay, sorry guys. Um, so some of you are deceiving yourselves in not being truthful, in not being honest about something. Now there could be some sort of conflict that comes from being honest about something, but that's really not what I'm, the strongest thing I'm getting here is the, is, is the fact that somebody might be rejecting some sort of truth, some sort of honesty, some sort of position of integrity. But I feel like that's a fear of retaliation, fear of competition, fear of backstabbing, fear of hurting someone else, but you are deceiving yourself and you're probably enabling this other person and deceiving this other person by not being truthful and honest about what it is you're perceiving or whatever change you're trying to make. And this is in fact 100% connected to you building this sense of self mastery, you reformatting this foundation for yourself, you moving forward towards whatever it is your eight, your 10 of cups would be. And it could be, there could be denial here especially with this two of swords, there could be denial of maybe some sort of counterpart situation, masculine and feminine, or just denial of um, what it is would truly be fulfilling for you. And that is in, in turn creating some sort of lose-lose situation, some sort of self-sabotage. Um, self and I really do feel like you are aware of what that is, Libra, because of this nine of swords here, okay? It's causing you stress, it's causing you anxiety. The more you deny this, the more you're gonna be in that Nine of Swords energy. At some point, you are just going to have to be honest with yourself about it. And that's really the most important thing right now. You don't, you don't really have to tell anybody anything if you really don't want to or you don't feel comfortable with it. But what you do, what is necessary is that you're honest with yourself. But you see, you see how that's a double-edged sword though? Yes, you do know because this is, this is why you're not being honest with yourself. Because if you are honest with yourself, then you're gonna have to take action in terms of that honesty or that integrity. And it feels like someone may not be all that willing or ready or maybe not even able right now to do so. But keep in mind, self-sabotage, yes? Closing message or potential outcome, Libra, in the first half of your reading, you have, well, there you go. Look, victory, the Six of Wands. Overcoming your obstacles. Surmounting challenges. But you've got to be honest with yourself about something, Libra, in order for you to, for, for you to reach this victory. But also, this victory is going to happen when you're honest with yourself about something. And it doesn't matter how other people uh, 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 react to it. That's their own reaction that has nothing to do with you. 
your only real responsibility is to be truthful to yourself, to be uh, to 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 honor yourself, to stand in your integrity. You have got to be there for yourself first if you ever hope to be there for anybody else. And the first and best way for you to do that is to be honest with yourself. Okay? Six of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Swords. Putting all that pain and heartbreak to rest. I really feel like, Libra, you are holding this Ten of Swords, this completion of whatever it is that is plaguing you. Nine of Swords. See, the Nine of Swords is in your overall energy. I feel like you are keeping yourself from finding an end to this situation here by not being truthful with yourself. Look at that. All you need is that last sword to complete your Ten of Swords, to complete this situation and to start the, 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 the healing process, maybe even the purging process associated with this painful situation that you're dealing with. This one sword of truth and honesty is what's standing in your way. Is what's keeping you from really building or working on uh, achieving this sense of self mastery. When you acknowledge this last sword or whatever it is that would that is is in terms of being truthful and honest with yourself and maybe even with others, that is when you will overcome this challenge and when you will reach your victory in some way, or at least you'll be free from whatever this circumstance is because then the worst will have been behind you and now you can start your your rise up from the trenches. So we could so we say, yes. And I understand, Libra, I understand this is difficult for you because you don't want to upset the balance. But to be quite honest, Libra, for whomever this is, it feels like this balance is not all that is not rooted in integrity to begin with. Right. So this balance isn't quite equally balanced at all. Right. But you don't want to upset the status quo. You don't want to upset, you know, the, the, you don't want to rock the boat and all that. I totally get it. But for your own well-being, it seems this is what needs to be happen. This is this is necessary. Okay. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Libra. First set of surrounding energies for you. You got the Six of Cups. The past, memory, reconciliation even. Could be dealing with a soulmate. We do have Emperor Empress here. This could be masculine and feminine. Soulmate situation, soulmate bond, divine partnership. If you want to call it a twin flame, you can call it a twin flame. It doesn't matter. Nostalgia. I am getting a strong reconcil... I have been lately with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups has been giving me a strong reconciliatory energy. Very interesting. Six of Cups is coupled with... Ah, the Six of Pentacles. There's that balance. Reciprocity. You may be due for some, for, for some, for receiving something. I feel like some of you may have been overgiving a lot, which is also why in the first half of your reading here, you have this empress with the emperor. You need to be in some sort of, you need to allow yourself to be in some sort of receptive mode here, Libra, to restore balance into your life to restore balance into the situation what not whatever second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading libra you have there you go there you are justice right underneath the emperor and the empress look at that If you're dealing with a counterpart situation, twin flame, divine partnership, whatever you want to call it, that situation has not been balanced, it has not been reciprocal, and you need to be honest with yourself about that. Or at least somebody needs to be honest with themselves about that. Whomever is the overgiver here, which is most likely going to be the feminine, you need to be honest with yourself about that. That is the only way justice is going to be served in your life, and that is the only way you will be able to rise above this situation and put the pain and the past behind you. 
even though you may have a soulmate bond with somebody, even though you may have a deep spiritual connection with somebody, that does not give them the right to take and take and take and not give back in return. Period, Libra. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. you damn right I'm getting queen of, queen of swords on your ass because you need it. Somebody out there needs to hear this message. You have got to bring balance into your life. Stop lying to yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop putting yourself on the back burner just to keep the peace. No more of that, Libra. No more, okay? Justice is coupled with the Four of Cups. Unrequited love. Someone rejected you. Someone left you behind. Someone left you out in the cold. Somebody used you. Okay, that's fine. But now is the time for you to bring justice into your life and to put yourself first. And I'm not saying to put yourself first in a, in a sense where you're completely being extremely uh, uh, selfish and now you've, you've, you've entered into the realm of narcissism. No. But what I am saying is, if you wish at all to be there for anybody, the people that you love or the people that you serve, you have got to put yourself first to make sure you are cared for, you are set, you are happy, you are content, you have everything that you need so that you can then turn and, and, and place your attention on others. Okay? All right, Libra. And, and understand, understand that you don't have to be in a divine partnership, twin flame, uh, divine union type of situation to be experiencing something like this. But that is a very common, this is a very common misconception within those divine partnership, twin flame situations. So that is what's most prominent to come out here. But you don't, but like take it, take it as it resonates. If it resonates with, if the message resonates with you, but you're not in one of some of those situations, like a twin flame divine partnership, the uh, div divine union type of energy or situation, then don't worry about, about that aspect of it. Just take what pieces of the, of the message resonates with you, okay? Again, this is a general reading. Excellent. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Libra, the Nine of Cups. But ask yourself this question. Does the Nine of Cups represent wish fulfillment and satisfaction, or does it represent substance abuse? Because I'm feeling like it's a little bit of both. Drowning your sorrows, drowning your pain, drinking it away, smoking it away, like whatever temporary satisfaction instead of make taking the steps that you would need to take in order to achieve long-term satisfaction right nine of cups is coupled with the ace of pentacles I definitely feel like you're blocking some sort of satisfaction within yourself. And that might be just because you're looking to keep the peace. You don't want to upset anybody. You don't want to ruffle any feathers. You don't want to rock the boat. But you are continuously putting yourself last. You're considering, continually setting yourself up to receive the shit end of the stick, Libra. Don't do that to yourself anymore. This is what you want. Satisfaction and a brand new start a new reality, something that is more honorable, something that is more aligned with who you truly are or what you truly wish to receive or achieve or experience or manifest. You have to be the one to allow yourself to do that. And how do you do that? You stand up and you be honest about yourself, about what it is you truly desire, about what it is you truly need even, okay? I just heard Ace of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups energy. Ace of Cups is the energy of self-love. You gotta be filling your own cup, Libra. I do feel like there is a bit of an energy of someone out there is require is still in an energy of requiring someone else to fill their cups for them or someone else to act a certain way, to do a certain thing, to show up in a certain way in order for themselves to be happy. And let me tell you, honey, boo-boo chow, you are setting yourself up for failure every time you require that from someone else every time you require that from external circumstances excuse me spirit corrected me there every time you require validation or your happiness to be contingent on your external circumstances you are setting your up setting yourself up for failure no if ands or buts about it honey that's just the way it is you have to find that internal validation yourself 
Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Libra. I love this. I hope you do too, because it's the sun. You have two Leo energies here, six of wands and the sun, but, so okay, you might actually want to check out the Leo reading. Maybe you probably, some of you probably already have because you have Leo in your chart somehow, but you might want to check out that Leo reading. It might resonate with you. Um, but you also have two cards of victory in your closing message and potential outcome in both spots. Six of wands and the sun. Everything is going to turn out to be much better than you think. Everything actually already is much better than you think. This is not, even though this, this, this conversation we've been having over the last 25 to 30 minutes has been fairly heavy in nature, it's not as bad as it might seem to be or as my tone may be conveying it as to be. I'm just, I'm, I'm really stern and I'm really serious because I want you guys to, to, to get this message so you can pull yourselves out of the depths of whatever it is plaguing you, right? But to be quite honest, things are not really as bad as they may seem because ultimately you are learning to be your best self. This is all part of the process, Libra, okay? You're learning to bring greater, uh, greater balance into your life. And that actually could be why you've incarnated under this sign of Libra or you have this sign of Libra in such a major placement for you that it's leading you to now watch this reading because you're learning, some of you specifically, I'm picking up on this, some of you are here to learn how to balance integrity within your life how to bring balance into your life, how to bring greater integrity into your life and thus influence that into the lives of others. Now that doesn't mean that you're, you know, you're stepping up on your soapbox and you're preaching rah, rah, rah. No, this is more by leading by example, by achieving this balance within your own life and then, uh, and then showing the way for others to do that for themselves, okay? The sun is coupled with the nine of pentacles. Independence, autonomy, abundance. Being true to your own self, sovereignty. Uh, that is where your victory and success lies. And it really looks like that's what all of this energy that we've been talking about here is leading you towards. I like it. Good on you, Libra. Let's get your oracle guidance for your month. For my Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus <laughs> for the month of November 2019. One more shuffle for you, Libra. And then we will see what we've got for you. There you go. Card number four, shapeshifter, transformation, primal wisdom, instinct. Ooh, ain't she pretty? I think so. <laughs> okay. All righty, shapeshifter. You are able to change, my friend. All the things that have stirred within you things that you have not even dared to whisper out loud will soon become clear to others because you are transforming. Do not let the fear of being, quote, different stop you from this moment, this miracle when the, inst when the instinctual true self becomes manifest. You can do what you think is unlike you. You have told yourself again and again who you are, and many a time you have merely gone ahead with what feels comfortable for you without daring yourself to truly be who you are. This message is for you to get ready to change, get ready to be amazed at just what you can do when you give yourself a chance, at what you can become when you receive the same opportunities as others, but most importantly, what you can achieve when you dare yourself to go further. The story of your soul is so much more than you have allowed it to be. And within you are so many more possibilities. Do not deny yourself this chance to develop and grow. You are so many creatures, so many beings. Now it is time to explore that which once frightened you 
and which will ultimately become one of your greatest adventures yet. My, 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 Libra. There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Bye.